The following program, Know the Cause, is paid for by Mediatrician Incorporated. Okay, I gotta admit, I'm a sissy. I could no more take a shot in my stomach to lose weight. I would rather go out and try and run five miles, you know, within a year, be up to five miles. Ozempic, the shot, diabetes drug that's causing people to lose weight. We'll discuss that. In the middle of the show, my good buddy of many decades, Alan North, I always so happy. He took a formula, standard keto, the real keto, right fat, right protein, et cetera, and even made it better with something called collagen peptide, C8. I'll ask Alan to explain all of that. Toward the end of the show, Dr. Randy Nadu, a pediatrician, says, wait a minute, I follow children from sometimes the second they're born until adolescence, and I teach them about good health. Stay tuned. This show is really going to have you ordering Keto Med, I hope. Today's Know the Cause is brought to you by Keto Med, your complete ketogenic nutraceutical drink company. For the past 45 years, I have dedicated my life and my whole career to finding the root cause of disease. And I now know with certainty that we must play a role in our own health care. I'm a self-care advocate, and you know what? Every time you change your diet for the better, exercise, or swallow a nutritional supplement, so are you. Now welcome to Know the Cause. Folks, we need to study weight loss, an amazingly and uh, uh, unbelievably large percentage of the population are now overweight or obese. We're, Ruth and I love 1930s movies, 1940 movies on Turner Classics, and we watch them, and literally only the banker and the doctor are overweight. Everyone else is rail thin. What's going on, and what's with these new diabetes drugs that are coming out to treat? obesity. Okay, let's take a look at that. Number one, this grosses me out a little bit. I could not do this. I couldn't give myself a shot to lose weight, really. But I got to tell you, millions and millions of Americans are doing this right now. Diabetes drug causes weight loss. It's called Ozempic. It's a weekly injection that helps blood sugar uh, by uh, helping the pancreas make more insulin. It is not approved for weight loss. Dare I expound on that? Uh, how many of these drugs during COVID did we take that were not approved for COVID? And they said, that's off-label, don't use it. ivermectin. That you can't use that one. Use only what the FDA has approved. And yet they're using diabetes drugs for weight loss. How come that's fair? But I digress. Okay, it is not approved for weight loss, but some physicians prescribe it to be used for weight loss. Duh. Cost about $900 a month, and one study found that it helped participants lose about 10% of their body weight after a year and a half almost? Wow. One year costs without medical insurance coverage about $10,800. Wow. There are a few, uh, these are a few of the uh, more common, remember, common, common, common side effects reported in people who took this nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, constipation. Uh, number one, I couldn't inject myself. Number two, why would I inject myself and then vomit or have diarrhea or nausea, sick to my stomach or get constipated? For weight loss, is there another way? That's all I'm asking. And I do, look, I, I read this book, it's a bestseller, and it says time after time, do not judge lest ye be judged. And I don't want anybody to judge me, I'm not judging. I'm just saying, is there a more permanent, safer, less expensive way to do this weight loss, okay? Now, a new diabetes drug, Manjaro, is competing in the weight loss arena. Oh my gosh. Better than Ozemplex, says the headline. New drug, Manjaro, that's the technical name of it, more effective at treating diabetes and obesity. Weekly injections without insurance now bump up another $1,000, about $1,000 a month. Uh, $12,000 annually for this drug. Wow. It, it's uh, Number one, I, I couldn't afford it. Would I afford it? Is there another way? That's what I'm asking. The more uh, most commonly reported, uh, most commonly, this is, may not be rare, the most commonly reported side effects of, do you love the name, Manjaro, include two more symptoms, nausea, diarrhea, decreased appetite, vomiting, constipation, indigestion, stomach pain, uh, I don't get it. I'm sorry. I have worked for 50 years at sweating, exercising, eating differently than old guys, avoiding alcohol, and you know, 
uh, and so far so good. You know, no diabetes, I don't think. <clears throat> the choice is so often yours, folks. Make an appointment with your doctor to ask these questions. Number one, may I get an off-label prescription of an eleven dollars to $12,000 diabetes medication with many side effects that I will inject weekly into my body for at least a year while continuing to live kind of a sedentary lifestyle or eating the way I have been? Or may I try a 90-day commitment to avoid dietary grains, dairy, and starches, the Kaufman One Diet? Can I take, if I'm craving sugars for the first few weeks, a couple hundred micrograms of a $10 supplement called Chromium Pick twice daily to help reduce my sugar cravings? And then number three, Doc, and I really promise you I'll do this, commit to 15 to 20 minutes, it goes by so quickly for me, of exercise four to five days a week. Is that the flip side of the coin, folks? I mean, when I saw that picture of that woman injecting her stomach I couldn't do it. And then expecting to have diarrhea after that for only a thousand a month? Is there a better way? I think in most cases the answer is yes. Your doctor doesn't know this, folks. Your doctor learned very little about nutrition or mycology, the study of fungus. Did you know that antibiotics taken early in life induce obesity later in life? They're growth promoters. We use them for cattle. We don't sell cows based on IQ or good looks. We sell them on how fast we can enhance their growth. And yet we, at six months old, start on antibiotics and wonder why we suffer with a high rate of obesity in America. Okay, the road less traveled is the more difficult road, but you'll own your own weight loss and the many other benefits of a proper diet and exercise. The road that is currently well-traveled is self-injected diabetes drugs. Unfortunately, this road has a dead end, says drugs.com. What is the dead end, Doug? I don't see any downside to doing this if I can do it. Here's the dead end. When you stop using Ozempic, all of the drug mechanisms at work to help with blood sugar control and weight loss also stop. Your health problems like type 2 diabetes or heart disease may worsen and your risk for serious events like a heart attack or stroke may increase. I'm so lost on this one, folks, I just do not get it. Here's a postscript quickly. FDA gives Ozempic two drug safety related label changes. Oh, by the by, this Ozempic can lower your blood sugar and it can induce what we call a bowel blockage. Two more reasons to own your own health. Not judging, just saying, I've done that, and maybe you should give it a try. Talk to your doctor. Hope that helps. They've studied the ketogenic diet in terms of fat loss, in terms of insulin resistance. It's been proven that you can, if you're if you're on a well formulated, properly formulated ketogenic diet, you can you can uh, reverse the symptoms of insulin resistance, reverse type 2 diabetes in as little as 10 to 12 weeks. Oh, love this. We have to film a few shows today, and I'm telling you, I'm up to here with this keto mint. Love it. Folks, many people put it in their coffee in the morning. Don't want cream? You worry about that? Put MCT. Put good things uh, in your coffee. Other people, Alan, by the way, Alan North, my buddy of 30 years. Mm -hmm. I knew you when you were <laughs> probably 9 or 10 years old. Alan came to me years ago and said, you know, Doug, this keto stuff, I want to put myself into ketosis, but look at these shakes, look at these bars. And I said, Alan, raise some money and compete. You raised a lot of money and you had to, to make, I think six years ago, the first true, the first true keto. Yep. I What's think the, it's still the first, I think it's still think the it only is. true keto on the market. But you're going to see what a, what a doctor said about the taste yep. of this. It, it's just delicious. Why would I want to put myself, I'm an old guy, feel good, why would I want to put myself into ketosis as opposed to uh, maybe a person who's 50 pounds overweight and having hypertension, mm -hmm. et cetera? It's a superior 
method to losing body fat. It's, it, it works better than low fat. It works better than high protein. It's, this has been studied. They have pitted the, they have, they've studied the ketogenic diet in terms of fat loss, in terms of insulin resistance. It's been proven that you can, if you're, if you're on a well-formulated, properly formulated ketogenic diet, you can, you can uh, reverse the symptoms of insulin resistance, reverse type 2 diabetes in as little as 10 to 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so KetoMed is simply a product, one of the only ones on the market, to my knowledge, that aligns with a, a true ketogenic antifungal diet. Mm -hmm. And you so people that are using it are doing so because they might have insulin resistance, they want to lose body fat, they want more energy, they want to be able to have, you know, maybe they're having uh, cognitive issues as they get older. That's why they're doing it. Years ago, Erin Porter, right. she wrote a book, Eat, Pray, Get Well. As a matter of fact, that's her URL. I think that's her website. Eat, Pray, Get Well. She wanted to meet you, mm -hmm. put you two guys together. So many of you know she had sinus problems, went on the Kaufman keto diet. As she went on the Kaufman diet, which she says very much like the keto diet, right down there in the middle, I love this, the taste is the icing on the cake, as I discover all the time. It tastes even better than the vanilla shake I used to get in the drive-in at a fast food place I used to eat when I was unhealthy. She wrote a book, Eat, Pray, Get Well, She's on your product. Yeah. You two got together, and she's doing wonderfully on keto. She med. loves keto med, and and Erin is 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 a, is a health expert in her own right. I remember meeting her doctor, Dr. Dennis, yes, Dr. Donald Don Dennis. Dennis. Yeah. And so she's like an antifungal health expert. She's not going to take a product that she doesn't believe in. And she's smart, but this guy, Doug Farago. Uh, MD, look at what he said this here. This is about one of the medical doctors that contacted us. We're getting contacted by medical doctors literally all over the country. And he told me that he had never seen a supplement like this. He's giving it to his doctor friends. Um, and, and, and you'll see it on, on, on one of his comments at the end there. Um, uh, it, it, for those dedicated to staying on, in ketosis, KetoMed emerges as a top tier supplement, yep. potentially yep. the best and only one you'll need. That's an important statement, Doug, because that's how KetoMed was designed. If you look at the market, you see things that are just keto everything. Mm -hmm. They weren't even keto in the first place. Mm -hmm. You see keto protein. You gotta buy keto protein separately. You gotta buy keto fat separately. Yeah. You gotta buy so-called keto vitamins separately. You have to buy keto exogenous ketones separately. KetoMed is the only product that you need. It's the only keto product that you need. You don't need, that's why we only make one product. We're a very, it's a uniquely designed product, but it's also a uniquely designed company. We only make one product. Remember after you developed this, you went to some friends and said, hey, I put this formula together, really trust me on this. I'm gonna put you on it for a couple of months. Yeah. Next, we're gonna see. One of your friends who These really are the first people, um, some, of the, 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 uh, some of the first people that ever tried keto med before it was even available. And they would probably, like you and I, walk into a store and buy a bar, oh good, it's keto. Right. But you're saying that name keto is like natural. Right. So nobody so, has to follow standards. So many people, Doug, embark on, a, on, a, on a, what they think is a keto product or use a, a, what they think is a good keto product or keto program, and then they don't get results. And yep. they say, well, gosh, keto didn't keto work. Keto didn't work. Okay, we're going to meet one of Alan's friends when we get right back from this short break. Always love having Alan North uh, on this show. He is the founder of KetoMed. Folks, very, very important company. Everybody ought to have one of these at home. Get your cup of joe in the morning, right? If you're on the Kaufman 2 diet, scoop of that. The scoop's in there. Instead of cream, see how your coffee tastes. Or sick people, people who want to lose weight. Right. More and more on television, what you see today is lose five pounds of fat, you know, your first week on the diet. So why are people following, uh, why are they putting themselves into ketosis and following the keto med formula? Well, I'll give you a visual. This <laughs> is a five pound fat oh. replica. This is what body fat looks like on the body. And, and to answer your question, Doug, they're doing it because this right here, when it's attached to your body and stored on your body, and that's what happens when insulin raises, you eat too much, carb toxicity causes this. That's why people are on uh, using keto med, that's why people are embarking on nutritional ketosis to get rid of this very stubborn body fat. And this is only a five pound replica. This is truly what five pounds, it looks like it would be more like 40 pounds, mm. but this is what five pounds of body fat. And once it gets stored, Doug, it is incredibly difficult to get rid of it, and that's why people are using a keto diet. I remember you 
When you yeah. came in seven years ago yeah. to talk to me, you were overweight. Right. And then you went on your own formula. What about Courtney? Tell me a little bit about Courtney. Courtney um, ended up uh, gaining weight, and she uh, there's the there's the uh, a friend the, friend of yours the before photo yeah. right there, and she uh, ended up gaining forty pounds. Hmm. You know, and and she had done yo-yo dieting, and she was always pretty thin. Mm -hmm. You know, she she was you know she's only she's about five two weighs usually around her normal body weight. It's about 100, 105 pounds. Mm -hmm. There she's about 140. Mm -hmm. And so she went on keto med and look at the difference there. And that is a difference of about 10, 12 weeks. Wow. That's not a lot. I mean, and I always like to look at there, there's another, you could see that's a huge difference. Like she stripped the body fat off of her body by using keto med and following it in conjunction with a, actually a mild ketogenic diet. I, Doug, and to your point earlier, she was on the Kaufman 2 diet. Okay, that's not necessarily a ketogenic, but it's still a low grain, right. low carb diet. So keto med can be used uh, in conjunction with a ketogenic diet, but it can also be used as part of any healthy low carb diet. She used it with keto, uh, with Kaufman too. How does one use this? In other words, I talk about putting it in my coffee, right? So I'm simple. an old guy, I feel pretty good. What about if I have chronic migraines? Print the page, take this to your doctor, ketomed.com and say, look, for a month, I want to put myself into ketosis. Is that dangerous? It's not dangerous. It's a natural. It's a natural process. It's only dangerous to the extent that somebody starves themselves and then they wind up in uh, something that's called new, uh, starvation ketosis. But when you embark on a properly formulated ketogenic diet, or you're using keto med you're going to be in a, a healthy nutritional ketosis where our bodies are designed to fuel off of both glucose and ketones. In fact, science is saying that ketones, when you go into nutritional ketosis, that's like a, they, they're calling it the fourth macronutrient. They're calling it a mm. super fuel. Mm. And you feel so good mm -hmm. when you're on, you have energy, you can think cognitively, you're cognitively clear, and then you start losing body fat. What I always like to say, Doug, one of the most common questions we get, Doug, is when am I gonna see results and 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 I'm and this is an anecdotal answer and we're going by feedback that we get from from your audience what we like to say is by the time you're finished with your first bottle and that's a 30 months a full 30 month 30 I'm, days. I'm sorry 30 day supply by the time you're finished with your first bottle you if, 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 if you should notice feel the difference see the difference results and that's why people reorder this this is an 80 percent reordered product oh, people use gosh. it they see the difference after a month, and then they keep using it. Folks, some of you will want to go on this program to lose weight, lose body fat, and so forth. It, it really works. Many, many, dare I say, hundreds of publications. Ketogenic diet is now being studied. Remember, hospital-driven 100 years ago, children with epilepsy were being healed with a ketogenic diet. It was starving fungus. I think the hospital was moldy, but that's a whole other story. Today, if you have symptoms from head to toe, to which you're running from doctor to doctor to doctor, maybe weight is one of the problems, please talk to him or her about giving, like Alan said, 30 days, one canister of this, and watch how you And feel. all you're doing is one shake a day in conjunction with regular food. Yep. Give it 30 days, you'll see a huge difference. Congratulations on oh, your success. You. Glad to see you today. You know, I'm so proud of my friendship with Dr. Randy Nadu. He is a pediatrician and a complimentary, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Complimentary or integrative pediatrician. That means, folks, to you and me, He's not your standard pediatrician. Each family is different, and that's what he has built this large practice here in the uh, in the Dallas area. Off to college he went, University of Miami in Florida, be a football player, and he was a darn good football player. Uh, but the Lord tapped him on the shoulder and said, eh, kids, <laughs> yeah. not big men, I want you. <laughs> and he became a pediatrician. So you follow from the mother coming in, maybe in the third trimester, uh, to visit with you. I might want to make you my pediatrician all the way, if she chooses to choose your practice, called Shine, shinepediatric.com, um, all the way to adolescence. Do you see a difference in the way these children are raised, the way they eat? Uh, the game, you know, do you see a difference in the families that really are careful and those that may be not so careful? You know, it's really interesting. We have a, a unique population in our practice. We have 
a lot of homeschool families. Yeah. We have public school, private school. Um, and I think my experience now over the years, it, it's very interesting to see the homeschool families and how those children evolve into young adults. And I believe have a little bit more stability. You know, again, my children are raised in public school. I, I'm in public school, so there's nothing wrong with that. But I think we have to understand as parents um, who's raising our kids and the impressions that are made upon them. Um, but I think uh, getting to see a child who's born in our practice and the way that the interventions or lack of interventions that we do in seeing a, healthy, a, a healthier trajectory versus a child who may be in a more conventional medical model where there's a lot of diagnosis, a lot of referrals to different specialists, and potentially a lot of therapeutics that uh, have to be implemented mm -hmm. where maybe a child in our practice isn't doing as many of those things. Does every mom breastfeed today? Um, no, uh, but I would say that most of the, the mothers who start out in our practice have a mindset that that's what they want to do. And there are sometimes medical reasons, you know, that can't be. But that's I'm just, correct. I'm just wondering, you know, the, the antibodies passed to child and so have we not learned, not you, you learned this years ago, have you and I not learned in the past four years a lot about T and B cell immunity and antigen antibody reactions and so forth. Uh, and so starting with breastfeeding I think is a good way to start the child off. Um, tell me a little bit about a child's diet. When do normally, a, when does a child go off the breast? Is there a time period? And then what do they start on? Yeah, usually um, it's around, between the sixth to seventh month mark that um, infants will start to um, incorporate some solids into the diet. And uh, the mother would still have the potential to continue to sure. nurse. We like to foster nursing, you know, past an age, if the mother can do up to 18 months to two years, if it's mm -hmm. culturally acceptable for them, mm -hmm. then uh, they accomplish that. But it's around that six to seventh month mark where we're starting with some uh, solids. And those solids are, we like to encourage fruits and vegetables first before doing anything with the grains. Yep. Uh, the the grain-based or carbohydrate-driven diet, it's pretty much the norm. And we want to move away from that and um, try to do put those foods in a place that babies maybe are reluctant to do yeah. when they get older and hopefully build a habit or an affinity for those uh, sooner. Did you learn this through your football <clears throat> days? In other words, when I load up on carbs, I just feel punk, you know, on game day as opposed to protein. Well, you know, Doug, you know all, everything about fungus, yeah. correct? And um, I think the carb-laden diet is uh, bringing out more of these fungal-related issues in our children. Uh, maybe some of our eczema that we're seeing, some of our respiratory conditions and gut issues, even the quote-unquote colicky baby might be dealing with some issues on the fungal side mm -hmm. of things. And we all know that infants in those first six months, their immune system is very um, naive. And so fungus uh, thrives in those type of children because they can't really fight those things off yet. That's why thrush and cradle cap and all those things are very common. You know, you, one of my relatives, my dear granddaughter came to see you and absolutely loved you. I was in a big box store with her the other day. Now she's breastfed, almost two years now, breastfed. And she's starting to eat a little applesauce and so forth. So I said, oh no, and I'm walking down the cereal aisle with her, the colors. <laughs> and you know, she had no idea. It was fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah, she wasn't you did a good job. You, you've done a great job. People just love you. Uh, Shine Pediatric, the Pediatric Wellness Center out here in Dallas, Shine Pediatric Wellness Center, Dr. Randy Nadu, N-A-I-D-O-O, -O, M-D. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you. Doing Thank great you. work. Thank you. One of the things I love about Keto Med, and thank you, Alan, for coming in today, is this sentence on the, uh, uh, on the label, Advanced Ketogenic Antifungal Nutraceutical. Folks, you can starve fungus, not bacteria, not viruses. You can starve fungi. Fungi need to be starved and eradicated, okay? This is what you eat, a low carb diet, because fungi require carbs like pasta, breads, sugars, etc. Great, great formula. Thank you, Alan, for this. Thank you also, Dr. Randy Nadu. What an amazing pediatrician. We had one like him 40 years ago when my kids were young. Wonderful, wonderful doctor. And what about Ozempic? What do you think after watching that, folks? You make your own decision, but there are other ways to lose weight. I just want you to know that. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
preceding program, Know the Cause, was paid for by Mediatrician Incorporated.